Alright everybody, welcome back to PAL Worlds. We are back on episode 3 of PAL World. Um, yesterday we did our first dungeon. We also um, caught a couple more PALs. We also tried to opportunely catch a Mammoth. That did not go well at all. Twice we tried to take down a Mammoth. And we actually watched two Mammoths uh, fight each other, which was pretty crazy. I did not know that they'd aggro into each other. I don't even know why they were fighting, and honestly, it's kind of weird. But, uh, now I guess we're just going to kind of keep exploring and get more things set up. 11 leveled up, no time. In fact, I wonder if we can do this dungeon again. Oh no, it's closed. That's interesting. Now let's see what's going over here. The syndicate. Oh, I always keep trying to cancel. Oh, let's cancel the uh, gun moss. Oh, never mind. He is not getting caught. Ooh, what are you? A little cat hairball? Kinda looks like, uh, reminds me of Pusheen. I want this pal. And so the pal shall be mine. Uh, sweet. Uh, crawling around the ground and eats microscopic organic matter. After a while, discharge substance providing no nutrition by using it as a mop for cleaning. Everybody wins. I mean, that's kinda sad that that, uh, pal's existence is essentially just being a mop. That's kinda sad. Level 15. I think that I might actually be able to do that. So I think I'll actually try. Uh, I won't use Dire Hal though. I'll probably use uh, Tomba. I think that we might actually be able to do this. So. Oh no, they froze me. Hopefully he doesn't do any big attacks on me. <gasps> okay, well. I think I'll try it again. Okay, yeah, I was not prepared for this. Free Pal Alliance Devote. Interesting. I wonder if those are good guys or bad guys. We'll see in a second. Alliance. Are these guys enemies or are they good? They are enemies. You gotta be like this. <laughs> they are kind of weak for being level 19. Kind of weak. Oh, okay, so it's just uh, when I died, so it, uh, it got pretty quick here. Uh, three percent chance to catch him. Yeah. Doing it again. Uh. Oh, did he die? Like I said, it looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Dragon Knight mixed with. Oh, I can't think, uh, but it is angry at me, so I'm going to run away. It's kind of fast, I gotta say. Ah. Ow! My shield is gone. Oh, I missed the jump. Ah. Alright, well that's, that's lovely. I wasn't even trying to fight it. It is, it is uh, for as cute as it looks, it does not seem like it should be that aggro, but it, it is. Nice. 
Mm -hmm. This is one of them go over here and craft this. What? Mel Packers. They chillin'. I respect that. Casual Nightwing. Okay, so I wonder, can I stand on that? No. Yep. Let me see. I might be able to just brute force it. This is not gonna work. Oh, I can stand on this ledge right here, though. Nice. So we gotta to get to the top of this tower. Easy peasy. And then there's gonna be like, oh, yep. there's a little staircase and everything. You can get right up there, you know, easy like from the inside or something. Or not. Nice. We actually got a pretty nice view of the area from up here. Very nice looking. It's a very pretty map. That's where we started over there. Hey, you can see my house! That's nice. <laughs> I should got that tutorial off my screen. It must be a catcher five land ball though. And I really don't want to do that. You have to be able to actually interact with the shopkeeper because the first time I saw one, a bunch of uh, syndicate thugs and just uh, gunned them down. Oh, this is the boss room. Alright. The Vixies. Interesting. Um, I think I'll want to use Tombat for this. Let's see. What does that do for me? Take out the small ones first. So that we won't have to worry about them. They are beating me up. There we go. Now it's up to the uh, big pixie. And down. Easy peasy. We got some more uh, ancient civilization parts. I guess these guys, big guys, drop it. The uh, dungeon bosses. Very nice. Uh, Ruby and Attack Pendant. And the Dark Skill Fruit, Spirit Flame. So we uh, equip the other Pendant. Increases Attack. And some more Rubies. Oh, I could actually probably feed this to uh, Tombat. Ah, uh, Tombat learned an active skill. Spirit Flame, you can switch skills in the PAL screen. <laughs> Spirit Flame and Air Candy, yeah. Nice. Looks like it's got a lot of power to it. That was definitely the new skill, because he obliterated that Yinkadir. Obliterated him. I will get the... Let's see. Knife for butchering summon pals. When equipped with pet, command becomes butcher. Butchered pals will not return. That seems a little dark for right now, so let's just get the uh, the fun little guns for my battles that are currently here. We are being raided? Syndicate scouting party is invading the base. What y'all think y'all doing? Alright. This shouldn't be that hard, as long as they don't have guns and stuff. And it doesn't look like they do, so this should be pretty easy. The enemy has been defeated. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty easy, but you know what? Easy dubs, easy dubs. First raid, over in like 10 seconds. <laughs> Alright. Crusher. Now, what does this do? Okay, so it can refine things. I don't know how fiber uh, turns into wood, but nice. Or am I making. No, I'm making fiber out of wood. Wait, so I can make. 
Paldium fragments. Okay, into stone. Okay, no, no, okay, I was right the first time. Thing. Wait, no. Oh, no, 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 I was right. Uh, I don't know. So you can use the crusher to turn stone into Paldium fragments. Interesting. Um, well, I can't do that, but I know somebody who can. My penguin can do that. Well, I have been recording the wrong parts for the better half of probably almost an hour. Uh, we took out that big boy over there. Um, the giant of, I don't remember actually what this place is called. But we took him out. It was honestly really easy. Um, probably because uh, my pals are now such a high level. They actually over leveled him. So we took him out very easily. And wow, look at all this area. This is um, all this ore over here. It's pretty crazy. A lot. Like if you ever need ore, I guess come to this little mountain. There's absolute ton of it. Wow, depressed. We gotta we gotta interrupt like that. When we defeated that, uh, when I defeated that boss up on that uh, mountain top over there, that I accidentally forgot to record. Um, I used my points to get the egg incubator. So, I'll see what we do with that. How that goes, because I do have some eggs, actually, from the first episode. I got some uncommon ones that I had found, so I kind of want to see what those hatch into. How long is it going to take for this to happen? Uh, oh, about 30 minutes. Uh, seems very comfortable. Nice. Uh, well, um, in 30 minutes, I will see how that happens. Actually, can I make two of them? I can, but it takes ancient uh, civilization parts. I don't have a lot of those, so I'll just keep the one for now and see how that uh, see how that works out. there and it looks like you and your pal both take uh, full damage when you're uh, riding over. so that's something to keep in mind Ooh, crossbow schematic 2 crossbow feathered hairband schematic what does that mean for me <clears throat> when inventory unlocks our speed for feathered hairband I guess I don't currently have those unlearned um, learned in the tech tree so interesting it's kind of like, um, what's it called from Ark, uh, the blueprints system. Oh, okay. Well, I see, uh, the blueprint for the crossbow I got is better than that, um, regular crossbow blueprint. So I can use it to make a better crossbow. I just need, uh, as you can see, like, uh, triple resources. Yeah, three times the resources. But I also ancient civilization parts, but I will get a better crossbow so I'm gonna go uh, get those resources and then uh, come back to making new crossbow and we'll see how it goes all right so I uh, went and got the uh, resources for the uh, crossbow and now I'm going to uh, make the better crossbow oh this is gonna take forever <laughs> you know I kind of should have expected this 
I wonder if they made it so it takes like four times as well uh, as long to craft it as a regular crossbow. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it back out to whenever I actually have it. This is gonna take a minute. All right, and I am back. I now have the new rare crossbow. I also made a uh, bunch of arrows and a bunch of berries so that I can take those out with me. So I will have food, so we don't have to worry about that, and also so we have arrows to shoot. All right, well, I actually think because it's part of the uh, tutorial, so it might not be that hard. Um, I might just try and uh, take on this uh, Tower of Rain Syndicate, because this is the one, right? Yeah. Um, uh, we might be able to do it, because it is a tutorial boss fight. So, uh, let's see. Combat seems to be holding off pretty well, though. It's got to keep the uh, kite around. I think he's coming in for a punch. attacking me more than they're attacking combat. I'm honestly kind of surprised about that. I thought combat was going to be targeted immediately. Five ancient technology points, that's a lot. 
I like how... How did she fall down here? I wasn't even attacking her. Oh. They just kind of kicked me out. Got a technology point. Wow, that was it. Our, our first uh, real major boss fight in Battle World. Nice. That went much better than I expected, especially because of what happened earlier. Uh, when we tried to fight that... um. Penguin boss in that one dungeon. He kind of wiped the floor with us. But uh, this crossbow seems really good. Um, I think I'm going to actually uh, end off this episode right here on that note. Um, we took on our first boss in Power World. We did a lot of stuff. Uh, got killed a lot of times off camera um, when I was doing things. Um, even when I was on camera in that penguin boss fight, died a lot of times. Um, but honestly, um, Power World, it, it, I mean, it's going now. It's going nice uh, nice and well. I'm um, having fun. It's a pretty cool game. Um, so uh, tune in next time for more episodes of Power World. And if you're watching this video and would like me to rename one of my pals after you or your uh, name idea, uh, go ahead and comment that down below, and uh, I'll catch you uh, next time.